Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're on a group dig today uh, with uh, the Clacton Metal Detecting Club at CMDC and I'm with my lovely friend Mark. Right, mate. Um, full disclosure, this is about an hour and a half into the dig. <laughs> uh, Muppet here forgot to turn the microphone on so the previous intro was completely silent. So uh, we're trying again. Uh, I can tell you um, that it's relatively quiet so far uh, but I shall say no more than that. Um, but we give we live in hope so yeah we're on a bit of pasture we're down on the uh, not far from the uh, the seaside uh, in Clacton in Essex in the UK and uh, we're lots uh, we're joined by lots of lovely detectorists as well so uh, including some subs so looking forward to meeting those as we go so uh, without further ado let's crack on mate shall we yeah absolutely let's do it second hole of the day and as i mentioned um, the, the audio didn't come out but uh, a lovely 1991 it's a nice livery button with a little um, kind of crouching down lion and the rope and actually uh, the maker's mark still on the back. So uh, yeah, was really pleased with this. It was a, a good start. All right, next one is a very faint 88, but it is a stable 88. Just as the train goes past. So it's very quiet, this field. Not hearing any shouts of anything coming up really, so uh, about there somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's. Um, sorry, I know I keep dropping the dais too from a small, a shallow distance, but I'm dropping it. I must stop doing that. Um, so yeah, it's been a quiet field so far, but it is early. We're only an hour, an hour or two in. Uh, expecting this would be fairly deep because, as I say, it was a faint tone. Improving. Oh, harder as you get further down, funny enough, which is a bit weird. It's out. Let's have a look. What was it? Is it still an 88? Yeah, still an 88. Right, see what we got. Oh, here it is. Well, got me excited. But yeah, the quiet feel continues. Bit of shrapnel. See you in a bit. Right, next one was a 79. It's quite deep. Uh, the ground is diggable, but it's tough. Um, bit of green fell out, as you can see. Uh, but it's a button very bent almost saddle shaped thought for a minute when it first came out it might be a love token but it's not it is a button still a bit of gold gilding on there as well uh, it's proving to be a quiet day so far uh, i'm not hearing of many things come out although i did hear a whisper of a cartwheel penny but that was about it so uh yeah we're enjoying it though we're under the sun it's beautiful it's lovely and still and it's great company so uh, what more can you want well, you want some finds, don't you? We'll see if we can find you some then. See you in a bit. Right, next one is a 55. So I thought we'd have a look together. Very hard up this end. No, not in there. It says it's in the clod. Right, I'm going to have to break it up. I'm going to have to break it up, I think. Yeah. Is solid. Oh. What's in there somewhere? Oh. Can't get at it. Get in there. Come on, baby. Where are you? You're going to be a shot at the end, aren't you? Not shallow, you're not deep enough. That it. Oh, my days. Oh, well, sorry about that. Bit of a bullet, I think. Move it on. Right, next one was a very deep 55. And that's what's just come out of the spoil. 
he says as he loses it again. Oh, there it is. Um, uh, full disclosure, I have picked it up already, but I haven't wiped it or anything. It does appear to have a bit of pattern on it. It's busted, whatever it is. So I thought I'd give it a clean and come back to you. So yeah, let's see what we got. There we go. Not sure what it is, but it's definitely got a heart in the middle and some decoration around the edge. So yeah, it's an interesting party fact, which is uh, very welcome actually. Uh, we're getting relatively close to lunchtime now, so uh, we'll be meeting up with Marky in a bit and we'll go and get some scoff and a very cold drink, hopefully. But yeah, that's interesting. We'll take that and we'll see you in a bit. Right, always check your holes, folks, uh, because there were other bits of the same thing in it, other fragments. So we've got another bit there with a heart on it and then two other bits there with a bit of decoration on it. So I reckon that was quite a fancy buckle. And actually it looks, some of the brakes look fresh. I don't think I hit it with a spade. I think it has literally just fallen apart in the clod because uh, I was pretty pretty accurate with the pinpointing. So I don't think I hit it. Um, but yeah, so I think that would have been quite a nice little buckle or something like that at one point. So we'll see if we can piece it back together a little bit when we get back to the ranch. So yeah, happy days. And a little plug for the lovely Ash as well. There we go. There you go, Ash, mate. Super job. See you in a bit. Well, now, told you we'd bloody do it, didn't I? Or did I mention that? Maybe when the when the camera wasn't working, I did happen to mention that the simplex will probably clean up again. And there he is. There he is. Oh, Mark, he's found himself a ring. And a shameless plug for the lovely Liam as well, but on the on the pot. Hey, there you go, mate. Don't know if it's, it looks gold to me. It looks like old gold. Let's know. have a look. Yeah, I'll give it here, mate. Get it in some proper light. Oh, what do you reckon, folks? It's quite light, isn't it? Yeah. But it's a ring, and it's a beauty, mate. Look at that. It's got a little stone in it as well. Look. I cleaned it up, and it's like red, red stone. Yeah, little red stone. Oh, I tell you what, you can't take him anywhere, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic, mate. I'm well chuffed for you. That I'm, I shall keep everything crossed that that is gold. And uh, I'll let you know at the roundup if it was. Cool. Nice one, mate. Happy You're happy, aren't you? Yeah, Simplex does it again. <laughs> See you in a bit. very pleasant lunch <clears throat> nice bit to eat and a beer each for Mark and I and Mark got to regale everybody that would, uh, came along and tell him all about his gold ring <laughs> anyway we've finished lunch we're back out we're trying a different field now uh, just to try and uh, try and find something different uh, my first signal is a 61 and it is part of uh, we can see that well oh, it's very difficult yeah, part of an old pen knife. So it's a start. Cool, let's crack on. Right, we finally got a, a tone and a signal that um, warrants a, a proper live dig. So uh, it's hard work, I've got to tell you today. <laughs> it's really warm, really, really warm, but uh, we're having lots of fun, which is the main thing. Uh, bit of drama as well, but that's for another day. Um, yeah, 88, 89. Not sure if you'll be able to hear that, of course, because we have to wear headphones on these types of things. But uh, as I say, it's about there. There's a little bit of grunt around the edges as well, so it, it might be nothing, but it's worth it's worth a try. And actually, it's, it's the best. As I say it's the best tone, and that, that says it all, really. And you find that, don't you? Sometimes on these group digs, you know, uh, you can't guarantee it's not the organizer's fault. You cannot guarantee what's underneath the surface, can you? So you just got to take it and see what happens. And there's been a couple of cartwheel pennies, a couple of other coins, obviously Mark's ring. So 
So there's been stuff, but not uh, not much stuff for the amount of detectorists on here today. But yeah, it's still in the hole, still about the same. Still wispy, it might be a bit deeper than that actually. But uh, yeah, I think we're all flagging a bit now. Just about there, all right, let's dig it out. Not quite. Oh, it has become quite hard work, actually. Wow. Yeah, we're near the coast where lots of activity happened in World War II. And uh, this about, is about the third or fourth bit of um, shrapnel I found. But actually, this one's quite interesting because um, it's actually uh, part of the timing piece of a uh, bit of artillery or whatever it was. So you can actually still see the little uh, marks and the numbers on it. Uh, so that's quite cool. So uh, yeah, that came off uh, some sort of shell back in World War II. So I'll, um, I'll clean that up and I'll put a photo in the corner so you can see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, that's all right, I suppose. <laughs> Let's crack on, see if we can find a couple more. See you in a bit. Well, we're getting to the, cl to the close of the day now. Um, well, what do you say about that? Well, it's, it was a day. <laughs> Great company, as always. Uh, Mark's got a very, very long walk home now because obviously he found a gold ring and I didn't. So, uh, them's the brakes, mate. Uh, <laughs> but no, well, well happy as always for Mark and that amazing Simplex machine of his. He is a, is a precious metal magnet, he is at the moment. Uh, we had a great day, we met some lovely people. Massive thank you to all the organisers, uh, the marshals, including a big, big hello to Leslie, uh, who's been a long time subscriber of mine. So it's really great to finally get to meet you and have a chat. Uh, yeah, and I found not a lot really, just a bit of junk, uh, kind of busted up buckle, uh, a nice livery button, which um, I wasn't, well, I was recording for, but the, the audio didn't come out, so I might do a little um, voiceover for that, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we're in the furthest field. Mark's uh, behind me over there in the top corner there. Um, we're pretty much the only ones left, I think. There's not that many cars left in the, in the car park. So yeah, we're going to have a swing back home um, or back to the car have a drink um, and then call it a day. So you never know, might be another couple of finds to, to show you yet. If not, uh, we'll see you soon. And as always, I really, really do appreciate you stopping by. Take care. No outro today, because you've pretty much seen what I found on the field. Um, so all that leaves me to say is young Mark, and your lovely gold ring. Take it away, my son. See you soon.